Hi, I am Mark Greenstein at Ivy Bound. I wanted to speak about early decision. This is, believe it or not, a contract. And until your kid gets a mortgage on a house, this may be the most significant contract he or she will ever sign. And she's only 17. Here's what you're contracting for that if accepted to an early decision college, I will go. I am obligated to go. I have to withdraw any applications that I might have to other colleges. So it's pretty significant, and a lot of teenagers don't realize what they're doing. We want to make sure you parents do. Now, there is a big advantage in admissions to doing early decision. Colleges like it. They like filling their class spaces earlier. They like having kids that are fired up early in their senior year. They know that those kids will be wearing their gear, um, sweatshirts, hats, for the next three or four months after they've gotten in. So colleges actually make a trade-off in merit in favor of early, which means avid on the student's behalf. Avid because if you're not dying for Davidson, you, you don't really want to be there. You shouldn't be doing early decision. And the fact that you're doing ED shows the college, this is the school I really want to be at. So it is a good move for students who are comfortable at that one school for the next four years and whose parents don't have to shop for financial offers. And that can be a big deal because early decision, the financial aid offers won't be quite as high. And even if they were ample, by doing regular decision, you have a choice. You know, almost by definition, if you're accepted to four colleges, you'll see four different price tags and if what animates you is the lowest cost, then you have the ability in the regular decision round to go to a lower cost. You might even have the ability to negotiate. And that does happen in the regular decision round. Uh, example, I'd really like to go to college A. It's $20,000 a year more than college B. I've been accepted to both by willing to go to college B, you can communicate with A, hey, I could still be on your campus. I need you to bring down the tuition somewhat. You see what they say. Some are willing to negotiate, some are not. Some it depends on the year, and a lot depends on you. Just how much do they really like you? So back to my old friend, the SATs. Yes, this becomes a likable asset when it's really high, whether that's for an ED college or a regular decision admission. Thanks.